Salutations and welcome to Basic Public Speaking. I am your professor, Christy Thomas, and this is for week two, which are the dates February 13th through the 19th. If you see me looking off to the sides because I have my notes. So we just done our first intro week where we looked at all of the goodies, welcoming you to class and all the basics, which is the syllabus and the tentative class schedule. I stick pretty close to the class schedule. Uh, if I deter from it, I always let you know that, hey, I'm extending this or doing that. But for the most part, I'm pretty good at sticking to it. I like to post a weekly schedule one so you know what lessons we're going over, but I also have all the due dates for the speeches. So like I said, I always post modules a week and a half, two weeks in advance of the description information requirements for the next speech for each speech. But this also gives you an idea if you want to look ahead and see what we're doing, what's going on. And we did, we also went over the canons of rhetoric or the rhetoric of public speaking, which goes along with the speech foundation, background information, all that. So we wrapped that up. We're now moving into week two. This week, your the lessons are over speech genres and informative speaking. Now, hold on, let me pull up class here. There will be a speech genre, a module for each. So speech genres and informative speaking are their own separate modules. So when you pull up Blackboard, it'll say speech genres. And when you go into it, there is a Word document that is a lesson review, a PowerPoint presentation lesson review, and a previously recorded video that I did over speech genres. This is giving us the background of public speaking and the different genres. As I say in the videos, some scholars and communication theorists and speech theorists, the numbers vary on main, on how many forms of public speaking there are. Some will say three, some will say four, some will say five, and some will even go into more detail. Now, for the purpose of this course, there's three main ones that we hit on. There's the three main that we hit on, which is informative, celebratory, and persuasive speaking. Now, informative and persuasive and celebratory, because celebratory kind of pulled off of its own but used to be lumped in, all come from the, the granddaddy, Aristotle, who created our rhetoric triangle that we learned in the canons of public speaking in that world, in the basics. So by speaking on genres, we touch base on them and we touch base more, a little bit more on the background of public speaking itself and how it evolved, you know, from Plato to Aristotle and so forth. But Aristotle really put out a lot of the things that we still hope, you know, obviously it's not verbatim, it's more modern, but we still go off of today and how it, you know, public speaking depends on the character of the speaker and what they're trying to get across. And anyway, we go into that in a little bit more detail. All that's found under speech genres. And then I also put a little snippet video of, there's a communication coach, Dr. Alex Lyon, Lyon, excuse me. I like to use his videos. And I've said it before that I like to use his videos. He kind of gives these little, three, four, five, some are a little bit longer, but they're really great additional info to go along with what I post from the course or myself about it. So I put in there under speech genres, it's called informative versus persuasive. And it really breaks down the difference between, I mean like the bare bones basic difference between informative and persuasive. And really that is informative, you're, you're informing us, you're telling us, you're telling us about something or a process or how this works or how that works, all that falls in for. But the moment you cross that threshold to try to convince your audience why they should or should not do something, why they should change their values or beliefs, why they should or stop, should start or stop an action, you're now moving into persuasive. Persuasive, there's persuasive informative where you're giving us the information, but once you cross that line and say, this is why we should have shorter school days. This is why Schools should be opened up to preschool for to three and four year olds. This is why their streets should be wider on this street. Why you should not smoke. 
why we should change the legal drinking age higher, why, you know, rental of a car age lower, why, you know, the, once you cross the threshold, I'm telling us why we should think something, why we should change the way we believe or what we value or what way we sway when you're trying to align your audience into your direction, then we move into persuasive. But we go in persuasive way down the road. So speech genres, check that out. It's just information, the building blocks of the different genres. Then you go into informative speaking. Oh, there'll be a, in the video that's there, there'll be a question. Please disregard any questions in that video. You don't have anything to do with speech genres or anything like that. Um, some of my previously recorded videos that I do for my courses, I have asked questions in the past to so be emailed or uploaded. And unless I say in the weekly video, a weekly announcement, hey, I want you to email me or we have an assignment due or this due, disregard any information or questions like that. Or if I had said something about a due date about something else, disregard that updated due dates and stuff. I will post weekly in announcements and the weekly videos that I create for you. So along with speech genres, I also want you to look at informative speaking and informative speaking, I, again, is one of the, your main genres of public speaking. And a majority of our speeches are informative. Your first speech that you, you are doing that will be due at the end of week two is an informative speech because you're introducing yourself. You're just informing me about you and I cannot wait to hear what you all have to say. I, I love the informative speeches. It's my way of getting myself introduced to you. Along with that, um, for informative speaking, again, a Word document video, uh, a Word document lesson review, a PowerPoint lesson review, and a previously recorded video that I did about informative speaking. All that is up as well for informative speaking. So speech genres and informative speaking are our lessons. And again, and it's already been opened, is the, your first main speech is due by Sunday midnight. So, the 19th by midnight. And that is your introduction speech. And there, like I said, it's already been opened. It says introduction speech, main speech one. And in it, you find a Word document description of what I'm asking you to provide in this speech. And then there's also a video of me discussing what I like for you to do in this speech as well. And then there is a home to upload your speech to. So I would give yourself at least a day or two to figure out. Because sometimes technology is not our friend. <laughs> and it can be a little difficult to upload. And I also will accept them via email as well. Because sometimes I get it. I get it. Um, but to touch base on that first speech, there are five things that I ask of you for the speech. You A, introduce yourself, the name that appears on my roster, and then if you have a preference, like a nickname that you go by other than what's on my roster, this would be an opportune time to attach your name. So, you know, perhaps your name is David Schwartz, and perhaps you go by Davey, or perhaps you go by Bo, or, you know, if there's a short name, give me the roster name so that I can make that connection of roster room. But if you have a preferred name, give that to me as well, a nickname. Um, the second is future. So this can be if you're moving, if you're gonna continue your education or um, your degree that you're seeking, or you know if you're moving on to a four year program school or a master's degree after this, or it could be a dream job. Or if you had all the money in the world, all the time in the world and nothing, you know, if. You could go anywhere and do anything. What would be a dream job, dream career? You know, maybe your dream job is to be a paleontologist or maybe your dream career is to be a makeup influencer or perhaps you wanna write children's books or perhaps you want to just hang by the beach and put your toes in the sand. Whatever the case may be here, that's where you put it there. And then I want you to just, on the third point is discuss something known. So widely, widely known. So if you are, perhaps you went to school and was a cheerleader all through middle school and high school, or perhaps you were in the science club, or you're a big nerd, or maybe it's the car you drive, or sometimes, I don't, 
know if you come across this in Eastern Kentucky. You're so-and-so's daughter, you're so-and-so's son, you're so-and-so's sister. You know, maybe it's something like that. Or maybe it's the job that you have or your activities, your hobbies, or, you know, maybe you're a painter or you make shirts or hair bows or you fix cars. Okay, so the fourth point to hit on is I want you to discuss something not commonly known. Now, you do not have to tell me deep dark secrets. I don't want that. Just something that maybe people don't know about you until they get to know you. Maybe you're an avid reader. And a lot of people don't know that unless they get to know you. Or maybe you're a huge, maybe you're a cosplayer. Perhaps you're an aerial artist. Perhaps you, you know, you're a semi-pro fisher, fisherman. I'll get it right. Or perhaps you really love the beach or you really love to go skiing. Or maybe you secretly love math. You know, something that's known about you but not really really known until someone really gets to know you or is close to you or perhaps you are a master chef and you hide it until someone gets to know you anyway and then lastly tell me what brings you joy what brings a smile to your face what brings a calm to your chaos and that's all you have to do there is no outline nor is there a time limit on for this speech but just remember i would love to hear you speak for at least a minute that would be great so quick wrap up for this introduction speech. Again, this is due by midnight Sunday, February the 19th. Introduce yourself. So this is your name. That's on my roster and whatever you, if you have something else that you go by, that's where you do it. Two, um, future. So this can be degree you're seeking, career path you're on, a dream job, a dream career, dream aspirations, whatever the case may be. I was younger. I was either going to be an actress or an archaeologist. There, there was no in-between. <laughs> uh, the third is something wildly known about you. Uh, this is where, like, anybody hears your name, they know that's you. Something not commonly known unless they get to know you. Again, you do not have to add your deepest, darkest secrets here. That's not what I'm asking. Just something that maybe people don't know about you until they get to know you. Maybe you have 12 dogs and people don't know that until they get to know you. Or maybe you're a plant mom and have a vivacious garden that people don't really know until they get to know you and then they can go visit. And then lastly, tell me what brings you joy? What brings a smile to your face? What brings a calm to the chaos in your world? Anyway, folks, so for week two, check out speech genres and informative speaking. Those are our lessons. Speech genres is building us, is giving that base so we can dive deeper into the genres we're gonna cover in this class. We will cover informative, celebratory, and persuasive speaking in this class, and we started off by looking over informative speaking this week. Okay, um, your first main speech is due by Sunday, February 19th at, um, by midnight. Once all that's done, uh, sorry, it's due by midnight. So I just got a message about my son, so I got a little distracted. Um, that's due, and your first main speech, and well, really your first few main speeches, and the storytelling speeches all fall informative because you're telling us about something. So your main speech one is due. We discussed the five points. There's a module up on it. It's been up since class opened. Folks, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.